Hey everyone, welcome. In this video, I'll show you my one cable M1 MacBook setup with an old monitor using a USB-C hub. I realize hubs and dongles are not exciting to talk about, but since switching to the M1 MacBook with only two ports, finding a good USB-C hub quickly became a priority for me. The hub I ended up purchasing is the Anchor Power Expand 8-in-1, not sponsored. There's an overwhelming number of options on the market today, spanning from dongle style hubs that are really small but have a limited set of ports, all the way to big stationary ones that offer way more ports but also cost more. I needed something between, and to be able to use a hub for a one cable setup, it has to have two main features, power pass through and video out. Additionally, I wanted it to be portable in case I need to take it on the go. I also wanted it to have a built-in SD card reader, be able to output 4K at 60Hz. It should also have additional USB ports for expansion. And last but not least, it shouldn't break the bank. This particular hub can do all of what I listed and a bit more. So here's a quick overview of its features. First off, it's portable, roughly the size of an iPod Touch and about as thick as two iPods stacked together. It's reasonably easy to fit into a bag and it does not require an external power supply. It has two built-in SD card slots, one micro and one full size, and they can be used at the same time. Read-write speeds are reasonably quick and definitely faster than what I used to rely on. It has one HDMI output, but more importantly, it can do 4K at 60Hz refresh rate. This is a rare feature in a portable USB-C hub. Most can either do 60Hz at 1080p or 4K at 30Hz. It has that power pass-through capability. This feature allows you to use your Mac's USB-C charger, plugging it directly into the hub, which in turn pushes 85 watts of power to the MacBook through that one cable. It has two USB 3.0 ports, Plus, it has an additional 10 gigabits per second USB-C port. All three of those ports are powered, so they can be used for charging. It also has an Ethernet port if you need a wired network connection. And lastly, it's reasonably priced at $59.99. This is what I needed in a USB-C hub, so when I sit down at the desk, I plug in one cable into the MacBook and I'm good to go. But this hub is not perfect, so here are some of its shortcomings. First, it has a short cable that's permanently attached. Another small issue I have with this hub, which doesn't impact usability, but I wish I knew this before. When using the power pass through feature, at first it will look like it's not charging. It turns out it just takes a couple of minutes to get the charging message in the battery menu, but power delivery begins as soon as you plug it in. And most annoying of all, if you wake up your Mac while the hub is still plugged in, sometimes the HDMI display looks like this. It's easily fixed by turning the monitor off and on again, or unplugging and reconnecting the hub, but it's annoying nonetheless. And that's my simple one cable desk setup. I'm happy with the results, so that's why I decided to share it with you. Let me know in the comments what are some of your must have features in the USB hub. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.